What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to edit a model inside Unreal Engine. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is basically drag our mesh into the scene. So I'm just going to use the starting content and filter by static meshes and then I'm just going to get, for example, the table um, that comes in as a starting content for Unreal Engine. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and edit this table. So what we have to do is select it and go up here where it says select mode and put in the modeling mode. And you can see that we have a lot of new tools. So today I'm going to show you some different tools that we can use. But the first one, I'm just going to show you the wrap. And it's really cool because basically, if you can see, um, there's already some deformation being applied. So as you can see, there's like two tables. One is an hologram transparent thing and one is the actual mesh. Now the hologram is just to show the the original mesh, okay? So it's easier for us. So you can see that we start rotating. You can see how the table basically starts actually deforming um, and creating this really cool shape. And you can basically rotate it in any, you know, side that you want and like this and all kind of way you can also move it uh, like the pivot basically that will uh, wrap and you can basically end up with really cool results so go ahead and click accept you can see how this uh, table has ended being really 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 cool so let me show you the next one the next tool that we're going to learn today and it's the lattice so basically this will allow us to um, modify the model in a lot of different ways very very easily so you can see that basically a grid in 3d has appeared so we literally can just go ahead and select this by dragging and holding um different pivots on this um you know grid and we can basically start moving it to basically deform the table in our needs now have in mind that of course if you start you know stretching it too much like this you know it will not look good because of course it's basically deforming but if you you know go ahead and just move it a bit into the side or whatever we can just accept it and we'll basically end up with a really cool uh, larger table as you can see and literally just modeled inside unreal engine so this is very very powerful and you can use it in all ways and lastly i'm going to show you a really cool thing which is the if we go down in attributes the material edit so you select it and you can see that basically we have uh, a list of all the polygons and triangles in our mesh so literally we can go ahead and paint the sections that we want to change the material so uh, for example I'm gonna make the size of the brush a bit smaller so I can have a bit of control I'm gonna change for example the center part of the table now I'm gonna do it real quick but of course you will do it properly selecting uh, making the brush smaller and you know changing uh, different ones but there we go we kind of have selected now the area they want to change so literally right now in materials just go ahead and add a new one and then we're basically going to put for example just a wood material so i'm gonna go ahead and select it and then in active material we're gonna select the wood one and now if we go a bit down into material edits we can assign the active material into our current selection so we go ahead and click it, you can see how it actually has appeared. So now we we'll go ahead and hit accept, and we press play, and I go closer into here. You can see how the table now, the center, the part of which I selected, now has a completely different material. So that's it guys for the tutorial today, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I really appreciate it, you could like the video and subscribe. I have lots of ongoing to five tutorials like this one, so if you want to check them out, go ahead. And now with all that said, bye bye.